everybody, in this episode, we are going to finish putting together the train assembly. Um, if you haven't put the wheels on, we put the wheels on the train assembly, the linkage arm, the linkage peg. We also kind of gave it some space and did a little offset there. Um, so a video popping up in the top corner will show you how to do that. And it's just the same process putting on the wheels and the linkage peg and linkage arm on this side too. So let's get started by uh, putting on the hitch magnet. So I'm going to find the rotate, uh, I'm sorry, the revol revolution, revolute constraint. And I'm going to go the center of that with the center of that. Uh, you'll notice mine goes like inside. So I just want to flip it, check that off. Let's go to insert and find another part and find the, let's see, the hitch peg. Click that, click create. There it is. Hit the green checkbox. And again, let's click that and right here. And one thing is you can start using the arrows. Um, if you don't have a mouse, and zoom in here, flip that, check that off. So the arrow keys can help you kind of revolve and rotate and orbit around. Hit insert, and now I'm going to do the stack. So hit on shape, find the stack here. There's mine, part one. And again, I'm going to go to this meet right here and I'm going to go, I'm not, I'm going to click on uh, this top circle and there we go. I'm going to line it up with that top circle right there. And I think the last thing we need to do is add the cow catcher. So insert other on shape here, cow catcher. Mine's called part one. I'll click that. Um, so it's kind of, or whoa, spun too fast there. All right. I'm going to use again this one right here and zoom in. I want to find that circle and I want to go to the inside there. And I need to flip it and hit the green checkbox. And I need to rotate this down so that I can easily see the uh, the peg here that I want to go in and the circle here that I want to connect. So the last thing, I think the last thing, we'll see if it works. Zo zooming in is always helpful. So spin that around. Spin around. Oh, gosh. Starts out slow and then it just zips around. And hit that. Hit your green checkbox, isometric, and it's looking good. All right, so this wheel spins around. Oh, I'm forgetting the axle axle pegs. Let's uh, bring those in. So other on shape and uh, axle pegs. I need four of those. All right, so here's one, here's two, here's three, and here's four. I mean, in real life, those wood, the wheels wouldn't be hanging on like they are. So uh, you're going to put the axle peg, so this bottom circle of the, th of the screw head onto the top of that, and Looks like I need to flip it, hit OK. Yep, that fits nicely. Let's do another one here. Top of that circle with just underneath that uh, screw head. Flip it, OK. Let's revolve that around and do this same thing. Right there. 
Oh, man. Really sensitive. Uh, that one doesn't look like it needs to be flipped. And finally, this one right here. Let's click on. There we go. It goes to the top of that. And just underneath that screw head. Oh no. Undo. Where did that just go? I'm going to X that out. I'm going to do undo. There it is. How did I miss that? Hit that one there. And. Hit that there. There it is. Green check box. Looks. I mean, this looks good. This looks really good for um, very, very smooth, uh, very good program. Okay. Um, so thanks for watching. The next episode will show you how to animate it and add it to the tracks. Thanks for watching.